Hi, this is Jonathan from Clever Tiny Homes as part of our quality build series. In this video, we're talking about some framing details. Specifically, we're gonna talk about pocket headers above our big window openings. We're gonna talk about protection we do against electrical and plumbing. And we're gonna talk about some details to make us very strong for earthquake and wind. So first of all, let's talk about pocket headers. Uh, what is a pocket header? Well, and what is a header? Well, first of all, a header is a structure that goes above an opening, like a window or a door. And the goal of the header is so that the weight or force that comes from that roof doesn't push down on your window, which is not designed to support weight. It distributes the weight across the window into these studs here that are designed to support that weight. Now, there's a few ways to do headers, but on our big windows, where we have these really big headers, we put in what are called LVLs. LVLs is this engineered lumber, and we put them in pocket headers. What is a pocket header? Well, a pocket header basically means that the header isn't the full width of the wall, which is often what happens. It's got this interior pocket. Why does that matter? It matters because we can put insulation here. So if you look at older houses or houses that are built more cheaply, they often will just put a much thicker piece of wood, which is cheaper, but then you've got this huge piece of wood uh, and no insulation here. And wood is not a terrible insulator, but it's nowhere good as being able to put insulation inside this pocket. So we use LVLs and pocket headers on our big windows to get that extra insulation value. If we then move over here, we've got a hole drilled for electrical that's about to be installed. You'll notice these plates, these metal plates we put in. We put them here. You also notice them down here at the bottom where you see that there is some uh, plumbing being run. These plates are so that in the future, as you might be drilling or making modifications to the home, if you drill, start drilling into these, you're gonna feel some resistance uh, on the plate and hopefully stop and not get all the way through and end up puncturing the electrical or puncturing the plumbing. Doesn't mean you should just go crazy and just start drilling <laughs> haphazardly anywhere, but it's an extra layer of protection for someone working on the home if that happens to happen in the future. The third detail is key to how we make sure these can go down the highway without any problem. In fact, these are built to withstand 140 mile per wind loads and earthquakes, which is basically what happens when you drive it down the highway or put on a boat to Hawaii as our homes have gone. And that is this little hole right here. And what's inside that hole is a structural screw, a big, long engineered screw that connects the stud here to the base plate. And this is not a normal screw. This is, this is a screw made by Simpson Strong Tie that's engineered to provide a connection, a strong connection between this wood and this wood such that it can't pull up. Normal nails you can pull apart. If you've ever like stepped on a board and pulled the nails out, this screw prevents that. It used to be that people would use something called hurricane ties and it's often still used because people are familiar with this, which are metal brackets. But these screws, these structural screws are as strong as hurricane ties. It makes it nice and simple, very clean. And it's another framing detail we do to make sure that the home is super strong. And the screws don't just go between the base plate here and the, the studs, but they also are way on the top between the stud and the top plate, as well as the rafters. So basically we're making sure that from the roof rafters all the way down into the trailer, where you have these nice big bolts with the three inch, with the three inch metal plates, everything is connected with super strong structural screws, big bolts, big washers so that this home won't go anywhere. And that's how we've been able to ship these homes all over the country, as far as Hawaii to New York, thousands of miles and without a problem. And it means that once it's at your location, even if it's not going far, it's going to be able to withstand hurricanes, it's gonna stand earthquakes, anything you throw at it. And it's part of our commitment to building really high quality tiny homes that are gonna last generations.